Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Cohn, Product Specialist for Spectrologic. I talk a lot about data in this business, so today I'm going to approach it from a slightly different angle. We're going to take a look at how we manage the media which holds our data. Many people are familiar with the term Information Lifecycle Management, or ILM. The concept is based on the idea that different types of information should have different storage requirements based on the importance of the data, likelihood that it will be needed in the future, recovery point objective, recovery time objective, and a myriad of other factors. There are many approaches to information lifecycle management, but they all fail to do much, if anything, in the way of media lifecycle management. Most data centers today deploy both disk and tape in secondary storage. Federal and state regulations, as well as industry mandates, make tape an essential part of any long-term or off-site data storage plan. And here's where the conflict comes in. You're depending on tape for long-term storage or disaster recovery. You've determined via information lifecycle management when that data needs to go to tape and what needs to be done with that tape. But what do you know about the tape itself? Do you know how many read or write errors that are associated with it? How many times it's been written to or loaded? Do you know everywhere the tape has been and every backup program that's written data to it? If you're like every other customer we've interfaced with, the answer is no. That's why Spectrologic has developed Media Lifecycle Management. This is the easiest and least expensive way to trim cost, increase IT productivity, and decrease risk of data loss. Tape reliability is an acknowledged problem in data centers of all sizes. In a recent Storage Magazine survey, 50% of respondents selected media errors as the primary cause for failed backups. In Fortune 500 companies, the members of the data recovery team spend an average of 18% of their time on tape management and another 10% troubleshooting backup media issues. Just look at the myriad of things that can happen to foil the restoration of data. Media errors, incomplete backups, tape drive hangs, damaged tapes, dirty tape heads, overwritten data, broken tapes, the list goes on and on. A couple of these issues have been addressed by backup software packages, or ISVs. It varies by product, but based on the barcode, most backup software can track errors and load count. Most will also track a tape in a given partition. Of course, this solution only works if you're willing to leave your tapes in a single media pool and the barcode is never compromised. There are other partial solutions as well. There are standalone appliances that monitor drive throughput and track media errors, alerting you when the drive starts to slow down or an error threshold is passed. But even in this instance, media information is jointly reported with drive information, which can make sorting out tape errors from drive errors complicated if even possible. And the real downside is that you're forced to purchase, install, and support an additional appliance in your library. With a combination of these solutions, it may be possible to sort out some of the basics of what you need to know about your media, but it's not the easy and inexpensive path we promised you. Enter Media Lifecycle Management by Spectrologic. We've combined our existing certified media, backed by a lifetime guarantee, with the award-winning blue scale technology of SpectraTape libraries to bring you a fail-safe way to effortlessly monitor, track, and report on over 30 variables that determine the reliability of your tape. Here's how we do it. It starts with the certified media itself. Your media is tracked from its very first day. We refer to this as the born on date. We then add a unique identifier to each tape cartridge so a Spectra T-Series library will recognize it even without its barcode label. We record the date, it goes into our warehouse, and give you access to that date so you know without a doubt how old any given tape is. More importantly, during the life and use of the tape, we record read errors, write errors, the three most recent drives the tape's been in with date and time, the last three drive errors that were associated with the tape, the last read-write date, whether the tape's encrypted or not, and if so, the moniker and the method used to encrypt the tape. Of course, more obvious stats are recorded as well, like remaining capacity, the library the tape is associated with, and the partition within that library. And when a tape is ejected from the library, we even record the date it was removed. This allows you to keep information on all of your media, both inside and outside of the tape library. Recording this information is only one portion of what makes media lifecycle management possible. The most important aspect is getting the information into the hands of IT staff. This is where blue scale reporting comes in. You're going to love it. Let's look at a few of the blue scale screens. 
If you've worked with SpectraLogic products before, you're familiar with the BlueScale software which allows the user to configure, monitor, and troubleshoot every aspect of the solution. Under the Media section, you can get a quick media capacity view in each of your partitions. By rolling over the Media link, you can even get a visual of the configuration of media inside of the tape library. To access the Media Management Lifecycle Reports, simply select the Media link. This brings up the Media Lifecycle report screen. If we select the report bar, we'll see six different ways to view the media. The furthest left column will always be the barcode listing. The middle and right hand columns will change depending on which report you've chosen. Your data will automatically be sorted by the main field of the report. Let's take a look at the first report in our list, Media Health. I think this is one of the most interesting reports we allow you to run. The Media Health report gives you a quick assessment of which tapes in your library are in good condition, which have moved into a category you should keep an eye on, and which tapes are posing a danger to your data. You'll notice an icon next to the barcode showing green, yellow, or red to reflect these categories. The help of the tape isn't based solely on load count like other solutions, but on a combination of many pieces of information leading to a more comprehensive assessment. These green, yellow, and red icons will appear in all of the media reports. By going specifically to the Media Help report, you can sort by the icons to isolate any yellow or red warnings. Additionally, this report shows the load count of each tape. Let's take a closer look. If you click on a single tape from the Media Help report, the barcodes are all active links, you'll find the capacity and help of the tape visually represented on a percentage scale from 0 to 100. The details in the box below those bars are related to the load count and error rate for the tape. If you scroll down, you'll see every item and statistic we track on each piece of media under management. It's extensive. And you're not limited to viewing the data online. Once you've selected a report, you can export the data for use outside the library. You can choose between exporting all information available for each tape or just the three fields associated with a particular report. The data will be exported via email and can be sent to anyone, including SpectraLogic support if you're troubleshooting an issue. The last screen I want to show you covers cleaning tape status. The Cleans Remaining report is specifically for cleaning tapes, showing you simultaneously how old the tape is and how many cleans it has left. Only cleaning tapes will show in this report and they will be tracked anywhere in the library. Most ISV packages will track cleaning tapes, but they do it by slot location rather than by the actual cleaning tape itself. If the count is reset in the ISV package, or a used cleaning tape is placed in the selected slot, the operator has no idea whether the drives are truly being cleaned or not. This major problem in data centers is completely eliminated by using Blue Scale Media Lifecycle Management. Identifying media weaknesses before the media actually goes bad will reduce media errors, the number one cause of failed tape restores, by as much as 90%. You remember the graph we started out with, showing possible causes of failed backups and restores? Look at the improvement you can expect in media reliability and, more importantly, data restoration reliability. While no one can eliminate all possible causes of data loss, the majority of failed restores can be avoided with proper media lifecycle management. In addition to the features of media lifecycle management, BlueScale also offers encryption, drive monitoring, and hardware health monitoring to assure that all aspects of your data's life are secure and retrievable. Media lifecycle management shows you when it's time to stop using a tape, and it does it before that tape takes your data with it. SpectraLogic is proud to be the manufacturer who's finally brought all the pieces together to allow for just such an approach. Thanks for joining us today, and safe computing.